What's up guys, Charles Mabe here, going to work on my iMac, hopefully for the last time. Um, so earlier I replaced the board in there, um, and the, I, should have, I should have done this in the very beginning when I had the chance, but I just didn't, I didn't do it. Uh, I was hoping for the best. Um, basically the computer is still overheating, so if I use my computer for six to eight hours like I do sometimes um, without a break, it will uh, it'll just turn off on its own, it, the screen will go dark again. Because that board is overheating again. Now, the reason the board the, the reason the board went bad in the first place is because the computer was getting hot and overheating, so the board went bad. So I replaced the board, which of course made the screen not turn off anymore, unless it gets way too hot and it does it again and again and again. So the issue is, if I allow this to keep happening and allow the computer to keep overheating, obviously the board's going to go bad again and I'm going to be back at square one and have to do this all over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the whole computer apart. I'm going to scrape off the old thermal paste because I can tell where the, where the heat's coming from. The heat is all coming from the, let's see, the top right corner. Um, and that's where one of the, the thermal uh, coolers is, I guess. Uh, that's the right word. Uh, but yeah, so like that's where, that's where all the heat's coming from. That's also where the board is, too, is in the exact same spot. So that's heat overheating right there. It's getting way too hot. It's overheating the board. The board's going bad. It's causing the board to short out, which is causing the board to turn the lights, dim the lights on the computer screen. So I need to open it up, take all the thermal paste off, reapply new thermal paste, which to keep it super cool, shouldn't have any issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our thermal paste here, got this little computer screwdriver kit I got off of Amazon because um, I broke one of my other, my other pieces of my computer, or one of my other screws for my computer, or one of my other screwdrivers to take the computer apart. So this will just make it easier for everybody. Now, I'm going to take the stand off the back here, right here. Uh, you don't have to take the stand off. It's not necessary that you take the stand off. Um, you can work with it with the stand on. However, I prefer taking the stand off just because then I can lay my computer down flat and I can work on it while it's flat. But, like I said, if you don't want to do this stuff, you really don't have to. I'm just going to do it anyway, because why not? Uh, so what you're going to do is, you're going to, basically to get the stand off, you have to take a card, put it in here, hit the latch, push this down, it'll expose the screws, undo all the screws, pull this part off, flip it back over and it'll be flat. So let's see if we can do that real quickly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, hopefully here we can get this in here. We should hear a click of some sort. There we go, there's that click. Uh, right here on the final this back corner right here is the best place to do it, I find that's the easiest. So there's that click. So now what you can't see on that side is that it's exposing all these little screws right here. I can tilt it up for you so you can see. Can you guys see those screws hopefully right there? I'm hoping that's showing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the right screwdriver for those screws, which I hopefully I have one here. Okay. So now, that's out. So, boom. There we go. Let's put this bad boy over. <sighs> this thing's heavy. These old school ones, man, I tell you. Typically what I would do with this is I would have uh, a giant suction cup that would pull this whole part off. Um, now luckily, I've taken this apart so many times now, this should just pop off easily enough. We shouldn't have to worry about much of anything, but let's see what happens here. Um, this actually, in this little kit that I bought, this little bitty suction cup came with it. I probably don't even need the suction cup. I could probably slide my nails under the edges here and pop this off, but I'm gonna use a suction cup to save myself from messing up my nails anymore. And there we are. Yeah, see, there we go. So basically, a little suction cup, Boom. Pulls that right off. We're going to set that aside because we don't want to scratch this. This screwdriver is going to stick to that because it's magnetic. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's magnetic. Um, but that's what helps keep the screen on. So, it makes a challenge though getting these screws out without getting them stuck to the magnets. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these out anyway. Typically what I like to do is, I'll probably do that here in a second actually. Um, I have these little magnets that I bought off Amazon that are relatively cheap. So what I like to do is take a screwdriver like this and then put one of these little magnets on there like that. And then that way I'll be able to grab the screws really easy. That, it now magnetizes my screwdriver and I can pick up the screws. If you have a magnetized screwdriver that would probably work better right off the bat, but uh, I don't have one right now. Quite honestly, it's never really been a problem because it's always used this trick. 
So I think there's like eight of these total. I think I've lost a couple over the years. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's eight total. So this part is really not that, not that important, not that hard. <clears throat> you just gotta pull the screws out to get the screen open. So boom, another screw. Throw in the bowl. Throw in the bowl! I've never actually showed anybody how to do this before because I always said, referred to you like, hey, go on YouTube and watch a video on how to pull the screen off, but since I have to do it, I may as well show everyone how to do it, right? Hey, there's my little cat. Why are you coming out of the couch? There's that. One more here. Like I said, there should be eight, but uh, I think I lost them along the way, so I haven't put them all back in over the, over the years. It's fine, though. It's not like I'm shaking my computer that often. So now, hopefully, boom, got that one out. Get the magnet off there. There we go. Okay, so that is all what should be eight screws out. So now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is, we're going to tilt this forward, and we're going to try to get these wires out. So, now you have to pry this front of this computer off, right? Let's get this closer, maybe you can see a little better. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a screwdriver in here, and we're just going to pry this open. So, hopefully... It's kind of a delicate spot, so I don't want to mess anything up. So we pry this open like that. Um, we're going to see a couple of wires. There's a wire right here, we have to undo. There's a cable right in here, which you can't really see right there. So we're going to undo, and um, one more down at the bottom so we can slide this out. Once I open this up completely, I'll show you the wires I'm talking about and where they are. So you really can't open the computer up super far yet. Because if you do, uh, you could pull the cords out, and we don't want to do that. They really don't have, they don't give you much room in this thing. Okay, so I got the, I'll get all the uh, four wires undone, the two at the top, one right down the middle, and then one on the left hand side of the screen. So now what we're going to do is, we're just going to pop the screen right out of here. Okay, so now make sure all the wires are undone, which I believe they are. <clears throat> they are indeed. Slide this right out. Okay, I'm going to uh, put different screws for different areas in different cups. That way I can keep an idea of what goes where, hopefully, for the most part. So I know this has to come out of here, so I know there's a screw right here. So here we have a little bit of screw on the side. Let's see how many screws we have here. I think, I'm guessing this is a screw here, looks like. It has to come out. Okay. So down here in this corner, it's a much longer, narrower screw. It comes out of the corner right here. This long, narrow screw. Alright, let's look on the side. Let's find the screws we have to take out on the side. So, there's a screw right here which attaches that, so I'm assuming we can just pull this one off. Hopefully. Like that. So that screw is just a little bitty screw for that right there. So you screw there, screw there, screw there. And on there. So let's go around the board and start pulling out screws, I guess, right? Yeah, this one I can see is a main screw. So this one's gonna have to come out too. The screw is also a long kind of screw. All right, we're two for two. Let's see if we're getting any easier here. Anything else happening? Not yet. All right, cool. This one here. Basically, this one I'm guessing is going to be a long one with the same kind of thing. It is indeed! Hey, look at that, we're three for three. Alright, and we're going to just kind of do this. Anything moving left yet? Not really, alright. I do see a couple wires here, I'm probably going to have to undo wire there, those two there. Um, brown, one there. Black and gray there. All these wires are going to have to come out, I'm going to have to pull this whole board out. So that's going to be fun. Pretty excited about that. Uh, that one I don't want to pull out. This one over here. I really should be more careful with that. It's not really stripping it, so it's fine. If anything, the screwdriver's gonna strip before the, uh... Hey, another small one. 
Now let's see where we're at. Anything to lose over here? <clears throat> so the real trick is to see underneath, try to look underneath here, see where this one looks like it has to come out, which is probably why there's an arrow pointing to it. Is this one going to be one too? Oh, another one. Okay, now let's kind of work with this. Okay, so now I'm seeing this side moving out a little bit easier, right? This side is pretty easy to pull out now. All right, let's pull these cables out since we're here. Pull this brown one here. Let's take our little tool right here. Is there a flatter one? I thought there was. Yeah, here it is. Take this, let's pop these out. This bottom one is a brown cable. Um, and this one up top looks like it has, I don't really see any brown that one. Maybe, but I don't see any really. Pop that out as well, because it's gonna have to come out at some point. Careful not to chop the wires in half or scratch the board up. Okay, so those two are out. Let's see if there's any screws in there that we need to see. Um, none that I can tell. I think ideally too, I'd like to probably mark those so that I know what goes with what just in case. Oh wait, no, that's the first one. It's a super, super small little dot in the middle. Okay, uh, I see a screw over here. Looks like it's gonna have to come out too, which means I have to pull this piece out here. Luckily all these cables come out pretty easily. Make sure everything's still in focus for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, yeah. So right now I'm in the bottom part. And uh, there we go. So now I'm right down here in this bottom part. Right here, we're gonna pull that one out as well. So that's out, and I see there's another screw right under here. So we're gonna peel that up, gently. And we're gonna pull the screw out as well. And I bet it's the same kind of screw. Oh, it is indeed. This one's a little bit smaller. So the one down here in this bottom corner, underneath this cable, is a little bit smaller one, but very similar. I'm gonna have to pull this wire out. I'm gonna pull all these wires out along here too, which I'm not super excited about. Um, that's temperature module. Uh, that one's gonna have to come out. That's gonna have to come out. All these are gonna have to come out. And they all look pretty similar, so that's gonna be kind of a bummer. Um, they're going to have to come out to remove the board. That one's going to have to come out, that's going to have to come out. Alright, so how do I want to pull these cables out? That's the question, because I want to make sure that they all go back in the correct order, because I have a bad habit of messing things up like this. Um, so luckily, since I'm recording, though, we'll, we'll be able to figure this out. There's a little wire down here. We're going to pop that out to remove the board. So that we're just going to slide out just like that. There we go. Okay. So a little wire right there, it's kind of taped to the board. It's gonna go right directly there. Looks so like we have a little bitty wire over here that goes to that, and a regular wire here that goes to that. The question is, can I pull those out, pull those out without doing that? Because I would like to do that, but uh because where do I have to get to? It's something under here. Now that wire right there is still attached for sure. So I have to get underneath here. Um, so I have to pull this whole thing out of here. These wires are going to have to come out. So we have, let's just say over here, vendor LWs on that one. Yes, they're all say vendor LW. This one's a little loose. Looks like there's a green one there on the end. Green on the end goes there. Make sure I'm still recording so I can watch this tape myself and I put it back together. We have two minutes. We're going to stop and restart it. Okay, so here's where I'm at now. I'm gonna remove these wires here. Hope that I can get them all back together. So there's a small wire here that uh, I guess I'll mark, hopefully. Keep these, like, mark that one with this one. Two little dots on there. So I can see those two. We're just gonna pop that out. Like 
that, boom. And this one we're gonna pop out too. Hopefully, these uh, stay kind of in their area so I can, pretty good idea where they go. That's not always a guarantee though in this kind of thing, but. Wiggle back and forth now. Oops. Until these ones have not been pulled out before because they uh, definitely do not want to come out. Okay. That's two out. We're going to try to keep these in the exact same area as best we possibly can so that uh, we can put them back together. This one has a little blue wire on the right-hand side. It looks like this one's going to slide out easy, I have a feeling. Yep, that one came out. That's the camera, apparently. Um, a little blue wire there. This one looks also like it's going to come out pretty easy. And that is the something. HD fan. HDD fan. Ooh, hey there. You stay there, you stay there. Try to keep these kind of lined up somewhat. So when I pull this out, I'll have an idea of where it would go back together, or I'll just watch this video. This little bitty one is uh, gray and black. This one's on the other side, but they all crisscross looks like, so that's easy. And then we have one over here, which is a something temp. We're gonna pull this bad boy out as well. Wiggle, wiggle, there we go, okay, that one's out. So this one is taped down, we're gonna have to pull that out too, I'm not sure why it's taped down, but let's take a look under there and see what's going on with it. Shall we? I imagine there's probably a reason it's taped down to the board. But I don't actually know the reason. Uh, how does that already come out? Let's see. Yeah, so the reason it's taped down is because it's just a snap-on. It's pretty simple. So on these ones, we have... <clears throat> Man, I think I need some water. On these ones, we have one... Those two go like that. That goes there, that goes there. Um, there's a wire over here. Comes out easy. You've got uh, a little guy here. And one over there. That comes out pretty easy too. I'm not sure how this one over here is connected, but we'll figure it out here in a second. Just slides in and out. Yeah, it does, looks like. These are never easy to get out, I'll tell you. I have tweezers I could use, but I don't want to use the tweezers. I think I'd rather use a flathead to pop that edge out, which is what I'm going to do. It's best to work both sides on this. Kind of wiggle it back and forth until it pops out on its own. You obviously don't want to provide too much pressure. I like when like these like dudes who do this all the time do it and they're like, oh yeah, I'll just pop this out like this and they make it look so easy. And it's like, look bro, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as you're making it look, okay? I'm sure to use my fingernail and the screwdriver on both sides. Problem is my nails aren't that strong. There we go. Okay. One more down this area, and hopefully I think I have all the screws, and this should be the last door, I hope. So you gotta ask yourself, like, does it ever make you nervous that you have to do this? No, not really. It's like, at the end of the day, if I can't get it back together, I guess I could always take it in and be like, look, can you put it back together for me? Or I could just be like, look, it wasn't really working anyway. It's an old computer, so it's time to buy a new one. Okay, so that wire came out of there. Oh, and there's another little baby wire right here. Oops. Little baby wire right here. There we go. Okay, that's out. Okay. Those little guys there. One there. Where's the flashlight? Break out the phone! Break it out! Okay, so 
So now somewhere in here there's got to be a screw. I just got to figure out where it is. Do not remove that one. It could be... There's no arrow on that one. There's no arrow on that one. It's almost like it's it's being stuck right here in the middle. There is a piece there. Oh wait, is there a screw down below that I take out? From the ram that I did before? I think there is. I think there are screws in the below down here. Ha ha. Ah, memory. You got me now. Alright, so down here, if I recall correctly, this comes off. So if I recall correctly, there's like a screw down here, I believe, too. My big ass head's not blocking this for you. Um, See so yeah, how those come out. That's where you put your like what RAM? I think it's what it's called. Memory RAM. I don't, I don't know the technical terms. I just know how to take things apart and put them back together. Hopefully, these. I think there's screws actually in here. So I pop these out. Set those aside. This one should pop out as well. Yep, let's see how I move back in there. So we're going on with that. That comes out. And another one. Those could be what was holding it in there all on its own, but I'm going to look under here and see if there's another screw or anything that I need to see. That could have been the issue right there, to be honest. Um, I don't see any screws, so let's see what happens now if I pull this out. Let's get that back down so you can see what's going on. You can get an idea of my madness that I'm uh, doing here. Refocus this in the middle. Looks like I'm about, what, 16 minutes in on this bad boy. Woo! All right, let's see if this comes out now. Hopefully we'll let all the memory out of there, or RAM, whatever that is. I slide this out, hoping that that was it. Something's still holding it. What is holding on? Um, so this little piece right here that was, it just, Basically, it just slides in. There's a, you'll see like a little black T in there, and it slides in. Once you pull this out, the whole thing will slide out now. So now I can I can pull the whole board out. Um, basically, what that was doing was it was just wedging itself in there so that the board wouldn't wasn't able to slide out. But now that I got that out, this whole thing should slide out. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Let's twist it a little bit so I can kind of. So something's still kind of holding it right here. There's these wires right here. Uh, it looks like it's not that one. It's this one right here. There's a wire going from the DVD drive. It appears to be kind of holding it down a little bit. What I'm hoping is that I can just take this instead of pulling all these wires out, which I think I can right here. I can see I can definitely pull the wires out. Um, what I would prefer is just to flip it over and leave the wires attached. Oh, okay, like that. But if that's not the case, which doesn't look like to be. No. Okay, so. I gotta pull the wires out of the back of this now. What do we have holding it together on this side? We have a couple of wires here. Not a lot, a lot. Um. Looks like there is about three. There's this thing here. It'd be a lot easier if I could see underneath here. I can't really move this enough to see. Okay, there we go. Um, there's just a couple of cables here. This one right here. That one. There's one. So there's one, one right there, this bad boy right here, which I should be able to get off relatively easily, and there's a couple more big ones underneath there, two or three looks like, but I think I can get this. Let's rock that bad boy out of there, okay. Those two, looks like one more here, that big one. So that should give me enough leverage to flip it. Indeed it did. This one just has a clisp, clasp on the back. That's it against my 
shoulder so I can Okay, that's it. Boards out. Put that out of the way. I pray to God this in here is bad. So now we're gonna hope under these two, here and here, that there is a bad bad uh, heat sink or bad thermal paste, heat sink, bad thermal paste under there. Um, if there is indeed, that would be causing this to overheat, and this would be otherwise not dissipating. Now I've seen some that have a hole in here. I don't see any holes in this, so I'm assuming that's fine. That's not the issue. I don't see any evaporation. Like I said, I heard there was a liquid in there, but I don't see any kind of evaporation of liquid on there. So the only thing it can be is in here. Um, so we're going to pull these off, and we're going to look at the paste. And then we're going to uh, hopefully put it all back together. I'm noticing a coil there, but I don't think that's important. Anything? do is run this back over. And these screws apparently seem to screw into that from what I can tell. Right there and right there. So we're gonna just try to unscrew those I guess. Find the necessary screwdriver. This one right here looks like. So that's a little bit of screw there. Let me just screw there, I guess, from what it looks like too. In order to get to all these, I'm gonna have to pull this off. Pull this whole thing off, I guess, to get into there. It's a small one. I guess these will all be small ones. Holding this on here. Small one. Small one again. Into there, hopefully. Let's flip it on the side, make sure we're not fucking anything up. Okay, see, so yeah, there's definitely a board there. There we go. Just like that, boom. We're gonna pull this wire out. So there's two more screws to undo here. This screw, there we go. Looks like it was almost done all the way. That's a bigger one. It's also going to be a bigger one, of course. So we're all going to match. And this one here is also going to be a bigger one. And voila, we're going to flip this over now. Disconnect that wire there. Over, we're gonna look at this paste. I think it's that one's gonna be the bigger issue, but let's see. I have to undo the screw on this too. We're gonna work on these one at a time, so it's a little baby screw. Still see that? All right, cool. We're gonna slide this out of the way now. We go to this. We're just gonna pop that off. And what I'm seeing here is kind of what I expected. Um, this is probably hard. So this is like an electric conductive paste, right? And it's a thermal paste. So the idea is it's supposed to help combine this to this to relieve the heat. Now the problem is obviously is that over time. And this computer is about seven, eight years old. Um, 
it starts to dry up a little bit. It, it, it's not supposed to dry up, but it does. So we're gonna see this thing be kind of thick. Yeah, see how that's, it's like more like a putty. I shouldn't be like a putty. That definitely, that's, this is gonna be the issue, folks. Um, that shouldn't be a putty at all. It should be a little bit of liquid, basically. Not liquid, but it's metal liquid. I mean, you can see, you can see on this here, hopefully still. It's kind of spread all over. It's not supposed to do that. Um, yeah, it's all over the place. So, zoom in further. So it's all over the place over here, too. So we're gonna clean all that off. Some new compound on there, new thermal paste, which is I'm using Arctic Silver number five. It is a silver. It does have like metal in it, so you don't want to get it all over the place because if you do, it can cause a short. We don't want that. That's that'd be a bad thing. Definitely, this is not supposed to be like, it's not, you'll see in a second, it's not supposed to be a putty like this, it's just, it's old dry stuff, that's what happens. So we're gonna take this and clean that off. Like that. We're also going to clean this one off and get all that cleanup around there. That shouldn't be down there like that. And we're gonna clean that off. Ooh, look at that. It's more of a clay substance now. And it definitely should not be. So if that's not making a good connection, what's it gonna do? Well, it's going to cause it to overheat because it's not it's not um, cooling down the way it's supposed to. And that's an issue. So now we're gonna take this. The cat's like, what are you doing? 